What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing this mini PC and setting it up to rent out for computational workloads. We are gonna be putting this one on OctaSpace, which is a platform where you can rent out your hardware. Um, this one is not no regular mini PC. It's got a beast of a processor in it, an uh, i9 CPU. Uh, it's also got 32 gigs of RAM and I believe a one terabyte uh, NVMe drive in here. So this is another one from Kamura, K-A-M-R-U-I. I've got a couple of their other devices and I've never had an issue with them so far. Other than one of them, the cooling fan went up, uh, ended up uh, breaking, but it was super easy to take apart and fix. I didn't even like submit it any kind of warranty or anything like that. I'm just, I would, wouldn't rather wait. Just bought a little $5 fan for it. Um, now, this one, unlike my other one, which is a Ryzen 7, this one's got an Intel Core i9. So it doesn't have as good of graphical abilities because the integrated GPU on these is not as strong as the integrated graphics on the, the newer Ryzen stuff, but it does have that horsepower of that i9. So let's get it unwrapped and then we'll get it powered up here. So the exact model of this one, ooh, it looks good too. So this one is the Kimura H2 32 gig, one terabyte, Core i9 11900H. Um, it says max input 19 volts at six amps. So if we do a little bit of quick calculator napkin math here, the max that this thing could burn would be, holy smokes, 114 watts for a mini computer? I guess because it's got an i9 in it. Let's see what the power adapter is. There's no way they sent a 100 watt power adapter, right? I mean, they might have. Oh, it does have a brick in there. Also comes with an HDMI cord and a Ve VESA mount or VESA mount so you can mount it on behind your, your monitor. We're definitely not going to be using this in a traditional capacity. Most people buy mini computers to like, you know, hook up to their TV or some people even nowadays mini computers like this one are getting strong enough that they could be used as a desktop replacement. But um, oh my gosh, it, it does come with like a laptop brick. Let's see what the max rating, rating on, the, on this is. 19 volts at 6 amps, 114 watts. All right, so definitely going to have to take that into account once I figure out the price that I want to rent this system out for because over on Octospace, you can name your pricing on your rental. Um, looking up the specs of this device, the 11900, 11900H, is, is a pretty stout CPU. It is, let me bring it over here. Where are we at? There we are. So it is eight cores, 16 threads, max turbo frequency, 4.9 gigahertz. So almost a five gigahertz CPU in a mini computer. That's blowing my mind, absolutely nuts. Um, configurable TDP. Configurable TDP down is a processor operating mode where the processor behavior and performance is modified by lowering the TDP and processor frequency to fixed points. Oh, so I guess it can be lowered to 35 watts and then it can be up. It can be raised to 45 watts. So uh, being that this processor has a 45 watt TDP, um, I'm hoping that it's not gonna be pulling 100 plus watts. I mean, we can hope. That's a, that's gonna make it hard to be profitable for sure. But um, yeah, other than that, I mean, you know, all the all the normal stuff, stuff and things. So let me go ahead and get this bad boy plugged in. That way, we can see if we can get it rented. Um, while I was thinking about it, I actually was curious. So the computer that I use for like my indoor hanging, I don't really do much gaming anymore, but just for my normal daily use has a Ryzen 7 5700G and I'm just like wonder what, how it compares. And apparently the i9 11900H is just ever so slightly faster 
than the 5700G. So my full-fledged desktop is apparently slightly slower than this mini computer. <laughs> so, you know what? If this doesn't work out uh, well renting, I may end up swapping out, and that's crazy to think this might end up being my new... Uh, maybe I'll swap out and use this as my daily computer. I don't know. I don't know. It just still feels like it's not enough, right? I don't. I wonder how the graphics hold up. All right, guys. So fast forward. I am now remoted into the um, mini PC, and we are installing the Node. So this mini PC does not have an integrated, <clears throat> or sorry, it doesn't have a um, discrete GPU. It just has the integrated GPU. So it's basically just gonna be uh, running on the CPU. Um, it does have that 32 gigs of RAM, which only 27 is available to be uh, used on Octaspace because there needs to be some RAM available for the system. And then we, I think we set it up with like 700 gigabytes of uh, storage space if they need to use that as well. I don't know how I'm gonna price this. I'm gonna look over on the market and compare what similar eight cores on Intel are, are going for and then I'll figure out a price from there. All right, let me finish installing this and we, we'll be back in a moment. All right guys, so I have the node up and running and uh, I was just trying to figure out how I need to price it. I looked at the cheapest 16 core um, nodes available and they start at 4.2 cents per hour. So I figured I'm gonna price mine at a little over three cents an hour, so 3.02 cents per hour. Uh, that comes out to three, uh, sorry, 0 0.0302, yeah, uh, times 24. That comes out to 72 cents a day. Um, well, I wonder if this is actually profitable. Let's Let's try that. So if it burns full tilt, 120 watts times 24 hours, it's gonna burn 2.8 kilowatts. So we'll say 2.9 times my 14 cents per kilowatt. So if it runs full tilt, it'll burn right at 40 cents a day. So this would profit 32 cents a day. Now, um, being that the cheapest one is over four cents a day, I think I could walk this up. Um, the only thing I think that hurts me is those are all Ryzen machines, which they are older Ryzen's. It's a 3900X for reference here. There's a 5900X uh, for five cents, but I don't think the 11900 really um, holds well against the Ryzen CPUs. I wonder, hold on. Pretty sure a 3900X outperforms it. Really? Okay, that's actually surprising. So um, let me look at another website that can I can see some other examples. Um, okay, well it's showing it actually, they're showing it. Uh, They're, they're showing it beating it here, right? Oh, no, no. So overall, the, the 3900X is 1.3 times faster. Okay, so if I, if I price it at or under, I think I still should be able to get rented. Um, we'll see how this goes. I definitely will be uh, coming back and showing you guys my results because I'm also curious as well. I've never rented out a bunch of CPU-only machines. Now, I did see that this has a Type-C uh, connector on it, but I'm not sure if it supports um, an eGPU over CPU, or sorry, over Type-C. So I'm also gonna look into that because I might um, end up doing an external graphics card as well. So I don't know, lots of ideas flowing. We'll just, we'll get through it and go from there. 
So anyway, guys, thanks for coming out. I really do appreciate it. I know there was a lot going on in this video. If you want more information on how to set up OctaSpace, I will put a link down below in the description on how to set up OctaSpace on Windows. It's super simple. Um, this is not like I'm not affiliated or I don't make any money. Um, well, actually, hold on. I think they have like a referral thing. You know what? I lied to y'all. OctaSpace has a referral program. I don't think I've referred anybody, but I'm going to put my referral link down below. So if you want to use OctaSpace, um, you can watch my video or use my referral link. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. I'll see you on the flip side. Adios.